Wendell Well Services back at you. Thanks for tuning in. The film man's distracting me because he's wanting to see what time it is. What are we talking about today? This guy. Low pressure switch. That's right. Looks just like a normal one. Is it a normal one? No. There are two fundamental differences about them that I want to show you. Do we recommend them? What they are? What's the differences? We're going to get in that with you today. All right, so long story short, this is a low pressure switch made by the same company. Now I've got a regular switch here in my right hand. I'm not going to go over what a regular switch is. We've done a video on these, how to adjust them, how they work. I'm going to put that up in the, as a card up there at the top of the screen. Feel free to check that out. If you don't click on that, I'll put it down in the description body below for you to check out. All right. Low pressure switch. On the outside, all you see is this handle, right? All right. Look at the difference here. Tell me when you zoomed in there. Are you good? All right. See these points here? These points are open. The wiring's still the same, just like a normal pressure switch. You got your hots, you got your motor leads, you got your ground screws down here. But these points are open on zero pressure. And what you have to do is, is you have to pull this lever up to make the contacts engage. That in turn turns your pump on. Your pump builds pressure. This needle stays up, which keeps the points closed until they reach the pressure setting in which they open and it works like a normal switch. You start using water, your pressure falls. I'm simulating that with my hand. Switch comes on. Switch cuts off. Now, another feature that this handle can do is you can do use it as a temporary lockout. You can pull it all the way up like that and you can lock the switch out so where the pump doesn't cut on that way as well. Now, may seem like a pretty nice feature, and it kind of is. And these switches aren't really that much more money than the normal switch. I think they might be seven or eight bucks more than a normal switch. So you're not really talking about a big money difference. But it comes at a cost. And in my professional opinion, these are aggravating. I don't really like them. I don't really like a mechanism like this that trips out on low pressure. And here's why. Uh, we have too many applications where somebody's pumping into a pond and they're serving their house and they might open the pond up, the valve going to the pond up and just let it dump out the pond. Well, what's that going to do? That's going to drop your pressure to where it's almost at zero. And you can see those points are going to open. Your pump's not running. Yes, it is low pressure because you don't have any pressure, but you still need water. You're not going to be able to get water with one of these switches like this if that's what you're wanting to do. Um, these tend to cause problems, whereas people will buy them and they don't have a need for a low pressure switch. They don't have a well that's a low yield well, or they're not going to run into issues where they have low pressure, and then they'll call, they'll run a lot of water. This will cut off. They'll call us. I don't have any water. We'll go up under the house, see this, simply turn this switch, and boom, pumps back on and running. So now you're asking, okay, well, if you don't like that, what do you prefer? This is my option of choice if you're worried about having low pressure or running out of water. Pump Tech Plus. We've done a video on these before. Going to put that also up in the top of the video for you to click on. This is my idea of a low pressure switch. It doesn't kick out on pressure. It kicks out on water. 
so it senses amp draw and if the water gets down to the suction of the pump the amp draw is going to drop way down because your pump's not loaded up it's going to kick your pump off versus a mechanical means like this now how hard is it to wire not hard I've already shown this you can go in here and adjust this check that video out this is how simple it is got your incoming power coming from your power meter it goes to here your wire is going to your pump motor go to the outside legs and this pump tech what it does is when it senses a under load or a low amp draw condition it breaks one leg of the circuit I know that's highly technical term it shuts the pump down and only lets it have 115 volts instead of 230 volts this is what we recommend they're not that much more money they're very nice to have I mean if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go cut a pump off I'm not gonna cut it off here I'm gonna go to the breaker and cut it off at the breaker so let me know your opinions if you agree disagree if you like unlike if I rambled on too much which I probably did but that is in essence the difference of a low pressure switch and we do not recommend them so thanks for watching appreciate you viewing in tuning in as always Go with a Pump Tech Plus, worth every bit of your money for a low yield well or a well where you're worried about running out of water. Thank you.